Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Mix. I'm Phil Armijo, your guide to everything behind the bar. <laughs> and with me as always, the lovely Julie Smith. Thank you, Phil. Hey Hola, everybody. Hola, Julie. Hola, Phil. Como esta? Oh, está muy bien. Muchas gracias. De nada. <laughs> wow, we are impressive. We are. <laughs> That's where my Spanish stops. <laughs> and hoy estamos pensado uh -huh. en todas las cosas el tequila. Okay. Today we're going to talk about <laughs> everything tequila. Oh, awesome. I'm game for that. Yeah, we actually got a trailblazing brand here today called Herradura. Herradura. Yeah, they start a lot of really cool things here in the tequila industry. This is perfect timing too because we have reached the month of May. What comes to mind when it hits May? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, of course. So we're thinking everything tequila. I'm ready for it. In Mexico, they prefer to drink it neat. And if they do drink in a cocktail, it's going to be in a Paloma. I know I've had a Paloma before. You see them on the menus. I just don't remember exactly what's in it. We're going to make a recipe called Ruby Red Paloma. Mm. It is fantastic. We're going to use the silver uh, Herradura today. Gotcha. This is actually aged for 45 days. The Represado is aged for up to 11 months. And then we went to Añejo, which is aged for one to three years. Okay, so this is a 45-day-old silver. Silver. Yes, all right, okay. cheers. And also we prefer to make a lot of our drinks with the silver just because it mm. leaves more room for flavors from the, the mixers. It has a nice clean finish on it. It does. It doesn't hit you too hard Well, that's the, the first, exactly. That's the first thing I thought was, oh wow, because I was bracing myself a little <laughs> bit. But that went down really smoothly because, you know, my, the most of my tequila experience makes me think of college days when oh. I don't know what I was drinking. It involved licking your hand and salt. Like, uh. This was nothing like that. <laughs> Next is the Reposado. Okay. It heard her also started the Reposado process as well, which oh, Reposado really? means resting, so they've rested it in the oak barrels. So I understand that they're aged longer as you go up. The price right. goes the up. The price as definitely goes longer. up. Yeah. But the important thing is the difference in the taste, and I've never Absolutely. had a chance to compare them, so Absolutely. thanks for that. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to figure out if I can describe. Can you taste the difference of the spiciness or oakiness? I, or maybe, different? okay, see, so you're better at that than I am. That's what it is. It's a little spicier, not heavier. It still feels yeah. very light and crisp. A little bit of a peppery. It's, yeah, exactly. I want you to taste the right. anejo and see if you can tell any yeah. major differences oh. here. There is definitely a difference in the color with these. This one's crystal clear, the silver. A little bit more color in the reposado, and then this has definitely got a little yeah. caramel color it's to it. It's got more of that caramel Cheers. oak flavor. Just a Definitely. Smidge, not much, but it should have a nice clean finish as well. It's spicier. It's got a little little kick to it. A little oomph. Absolutely. Right? Well, so you're making me. I'm going to make you a Paloma. We're going to use the silver, the Herador silver today. Okay. Also, get your hands on some of this Fever Tree pink grapefruit Ooh. juice. Um, it's the closest thing that they have with their sodas in Mexico. We're yeah. going to use some fresh natural right. ingredients today, yeah. um, which is going to make this drink an amazing drink, especially for summertime. May, yeah. it's hot. There we we go. need something refreshing. Muy Chris, that's right. So, look thank what we're you. pulling out. My favorite juicer. Your favorite Your juicer. Your retro juicer. That's right. <laughs> All right, so first off in the ingredients, guys, you want to get a nice ruby red grapefruit. Yep. That's Cut a it in half. One. So we're supposed to get two ounces of juice out of here. My, um, my guess is we're going to get a little bit more. You might be that's working okay. on. <laughs> all right, Julie, we need all hands on deck for this bad boy. Oh, my God. Oh, is it, is it? Here, let me yeah, give you some help, help leverage. Out. Yeah, get it in there. You gotta Teamwork makes the, makes dream, the work. dream work. Great you produce know, situation. Was it you it. telling me that somebody actually has a patent? Yeah, it's, there's a patent on the ruby red grapefruit. Apparently, there was huh. a pink grapefruit farm in 1929, it was, and they sort of <laughs> just discovered this mutant grapefruit, called it the ruby red, and then they put a patent on it. And it's the only citrus with a patent. That blew my mind, because I'm thinking fruit has patents. Very it's naturally occurring, right? but. So we're gonna add our two ounces of anyway. grapefruit juice in there. Yep. Next, we're gonna take the silver. Silva. What I do is silver. We add two ounces of that as well. Okay. Your two ounces I'm, always look a little different than most people. I'm carefully measuring <laughs> it today, okay? Stick it to the rules, Phil. This is, a, this is a good drink to follow pretty closely to the recipe on, especially when you add your agave nectar over here. Mm. We're gonna have a half ounce of that. Very sweet, yep. so you don't really wanna go overboard on the agave nectar. We want about a half ounce of lime juice, so I'm gonna cut the lime in half, and I'm ah. gonna take half of the half. And I remember you teaching that us half. that in a previous episode because it's going to be much easier for exactly. you to squeeze it. We're gonna get our glass, but we're gonna do something a little different here. 
we're gonna garnish it first. Usually we garnish it afterwards. Now, right? why are you garnishing first? So the reason my garnish is first is because we're gonna make it look like a um, stained glass window, basically. Oh, um, so you can see it through. Yeah, the exactly bottom. right. Gotcha. I've already pre-cut a couple slices just okay. for time-saving purposes. This is here. for aesthetics. Uh, exactly. Which is important. <laughs> and you want to get it to stick on the side here, like this, right, like that. All right. And then you want to add the ice into it now. Now the ice holds that there for your presentational Perfect. purposes. That's still that's still easy enough Something for us to do Something simple and easy to do. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really cool. It makes you right? look like you've been doing this it for does a while. Make you totally look know like what you're that. doing. Exactly. <laughs> So now I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more ice to my shaker. You wanna shake it until it gets really frosty. So you gotta yeah. shake it really good. This is why you've got those big guns. Sure. You got shaker guns. Shaker guns. <laughs> it's like the old shake, school shake, shake weight. Mama. Remember that? That's right. Oh, the shake weight. <laughs> the shake weight, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. We're gonna mm -hmm. sprain that in there. Oh, wow. Then That's we want to so top fun. it off with our Fever Tree Sparkling Pink Grapefruit. Look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? Look at and those also, bubbles. That's why we use this tall skinny glass so you can see those bubbles. Such a pretty cocktail. Now I'm going to garnish, garnish it with this. Perfect. Give that a smell. Okay. I totally thought that was mint. What is that? It's not mint to be. Is this? That's basil. That's basil. Oh my gosh. And then I know you, you're gonna be sitting in your bathing suit beside the pool, uh, sipping yeah. on these all summer long. Oh yeah, long. So I'm chill gonna mode. You thank and you, thank once you. again, my favorite part of the show, watching yeah. Julie and Joy. <laughs> Yours and mine both. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh yeah, Phil, yeah. that is a perfect summertime drink. See how the presentation works out on the side here? Yeah, that it makes it, that it so. stained glass look. Thank yeah. you guys for joining us. It's been a pleasure. We love teaching you guys at home how yeah. to keep it simple. That's key. That's that key, is key. To make it something that we can do at home once we turn you off and it's like there's no fill at the house. We got to be able to do this That's on our right. own. This just adds another another uh, tool Cheers. to your tool belt. So Cheers. Good. Bring it, bring it back. Bring it, bring it, bring it back. Name that artist. Arriba. Pitbull. Maximus Solid. Maximus Solid. Maximus what? <laughs> you ready? Let's do this. As always, if you want to watch any more episodes or you want to see this recipe all over again, please visit us at themixga.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe by clicking the link below. Adios. <laughs>